What's up everybody? My name's Cap, playing some Team Deathmatch on Summit. This seems to be a very reoccurring stage, as I'm sure you've seen. I have a couple of videos on this particular map. But on this match, we're running three on four. Um, eventually, we get one more person to join our team, so the second half we end up four on four. But for a you know, medium to large size map, having that few people, it can make the gameplay go really slow. So you find yourself going back and forth between you know, kind of camping a little bit, make sure you're not going to get bum rushed, to just, you know, running free across the stage trying to find somebody. Uh, it's almost like a scavenger hunt at some points, and it's it's kind of frustrating. You you know, you you have to really pay attention, or you catch yourself letting yourself, or letting your guard down, I should say. You know, you run around for a good 30 seconds. I mean, we're 30 seconds into the round right now, and I have yet to see a single person. Have, they finally see a red dot on the radar, but... You know, we go a good little bit before anybody shows up, and that's pretty common with a, you know, low number of people on a big map, so. Anyway, um, the reason I'm posting this video is it's a, a good example, in my opinion, of how you can have a really good score, a final score at the end, and really do good, and not do a whole lot of the work yourself. And you'll see what I mean as we're going through here, but I get a lot of luck, which you, you kind of need at times. I mean, skill is definitely involved, but luck helps. So you can see, you know, not much going on. I'm kind of hanging out here. I want to make sure I know where people are at before I just, like I said, go running out. This stage has a lot of choke points, and you don't want to just fall into one. You know, that guy's in last stand, and I get the knife kill right after a nice claymore kill that I'd set up earlier, so it managed to get me my UAV. Yeah, I'm running with Hardline. Like I said, I got Hardline Pro, um, so I can reroll some packages. Um, I'm using the 74U, and I have the crossbow of secondary and my tomahawks, because it's just uh, my fun class. You know, if I play with this a round or two and I don't have to do very good, it's still a lot of fun, except for when times like this happen. You know, shoot that guy, goes into last stand, I shoot that guy, get a whole bunch of hit markers, and then die. And that sucks. It, it's just kind of discouraging when that happens. You know, you, you try and do good, and you, you know, come across two guys, and then you just fail. And so far what I've seen with this game is that if you encounter it like this, where there's two, three guys in a room, unless you get, you know, really lucky or up close, chances are you're end up going to lose, or at least I do. You know, I can't get enough um, lucky spray and pray kills in a room to, you know, win a gun battle or whatever, and then, you, you know, somebody throws out a grenade and kills you that way. So, you know, anytime I encounter a major room full of people, I end up just dying. Every once in a while, I'll get lucky and get that, you know, double to triple feed. But most of the time, I find myself not having enough ammo to actually do that. Very frustrating, but, you know, it happens. So, yeah, I think right now we're still running a, a three on four. Fourth person hasn't jumped in. We're pretty much, you know, dead even here. I mean, they're a kill ahead of us, but nothing, nothing bad, and, and now we're even. So... You know, having a, a UAV or if anybody ever got a Blackbird in this game would be just wonderful. But here's one of those chuck points I was talking about. This lane, there's always somebody there. So I try a Tomahawk kill, miss. Got him. I like that. I bounced it off the ground and hit him in the corner. And those are just, that's why I like running with it. Like I said, you have a bad round, but you get a couple of shots like that. It's like playing golf. You have a couple crappy, you know, holes over and over again. And, um... All it takes is one good shot to make it fun again. So, anyway, you know, got a nice little tomahawk kill. But as I said, this is definitely one of the choke points that you see a lot. Um, I Claymore took out somebody there, so I managed to get my uh, sentry gun. And uh, the, the uh, sorry, kill streaks I'm running with on this map, I have a uh, UAV, or I guess pipeline is what they call it, sentry gun, and a care package. Just, you know, kind of keep it on the low end of it there, but you see what I just did is, you know, I ran into two guys, you know, sprayed and got nothing but hit markers, very frustrating, so I ended up having a backup so I could reload and died. So now I'm going to call in my, you know, sentry guns, and I'm going to try and re-roll it and see if I get something useful. And hopefully I will. Let's see, drops it in, sentry gun, I'm going to re-roll it, dogs. This is a... First time, maybe the second time I've ever gotten attack dogs, and yeah, I didn't have to do much. I got three kills to get an 11 kill streak going here, but you know, that's why it's there. So that's what I was talking about as you know, doing quite well and from luck. And you see there, I get a nice double assist while my bud over there gets the kills, and my dogs are just gonna go to town. 
I do try those random tomahawk throws, you know, across the map. There's, you know, hundreds of videos of people posting those, like, and they title it with things of epic tomahawk throw or the most amazing tomahawk throw you'll ever see. And, you know, yeah, it's cool when it happens, but, you know, after, I don't know, about a hundred videos of it, it's no longer epic or awesome. It's just kind of like, hey, check it out. Here's my lucky ass throw. <laughs> Just like everybody else's. So, like I said, getting one of those is always fun. My dogs get a nice double kill there. And I believe I'm going to jump up and get another one. Yeah, check that out. Nice doggy. So, I have a good little streak going on just with my dogs. And, uh, you know, like I said, I've never got them before. And this happens so often here. And I'll show you exactly what I mean. I look and look and look. Nobody there. Nobody on the radar. Not a single thing moving. As soon as I pull out my clean where I do rounds the corner. Fortunately, I get lucky and I'm able to knife him there, but still, I don't know how often that happens where I'll, I could be watching one spot for two minutes straight and then the nanosecond I turn my back, somebody shows up and it's, it's very frustrating because it just feels like you're, you almost want to say like, you know, how the hell do they get right behind me again when, you know, they just may have horrible, horrible bad timing, but you know, it happens. It's very unfortunate that it happens too. This game can be so much fun, it can be so frustrating. Um, my nights playing usually start off playing a couple rounds of, you know, in the red as far as KDR goes. You know, I might get close to a one, but, you know, a couple warm-up rounds, I guess what you call them. And then after that, I, I stay pretty consistent, you know. Um, I think my KDR right now total is like a 1.2. That's not exactly brag-worthy, but then again, you know, my play style doesn't exactly um, cater towards a, a 3 or 4. I'm not a... I'm not a sprint runner. I don't run with my sensitivity on 10. I just, I can't do that. That's, you know, maybe my my old age kicking in has dulled down my reflexes or something. But, you know, I require a little bit of tactics, I guess, involved in mine. And this guy, he just doesn't see me at all, which works out for me, too. So I got my care package. I have it and a um, chain gun or a sentry gun, I guess, just ready to call in and... You know, I'm just going to hold up for a minute. I'm going to try and go ahead and get another couple kills just to make sure I, uh, you know, I don't do something stupid. I don't want anybody spawning in on my side while I'm trying to drop them in because, you know, I don't know what the what is up with the trend lately, but I am very much frustrated with having people on my team steal my care packages. And I don't mean that I, I died and they got it to save it. You know, that happens. You know, if a friend's going to save a care package, that's great. But there's been more than one time lately, and it's very irritating where I'll throw it in and somebody on my team that's not on my friends list makes a running dolphin dive for my care package and then you know once whoever starts capturing it is the first person to get it so you know they dolphin dive on top of it and get it before I do it just so they steal my care package very irritating so here comes my first one you know care package I got a rolling thunder second one I rolled it and it'll put a chopper gunner See, I mean, that's what I was talking about is I got really lucky. I mean, who gets those kind of care packages two in a row? So here we go. We're flying the chopper gunner in. Something about this I've noticed is it seems like it takes forever to actually make it to the playing area when you're waiting to, you know, unload a belt of ammo on somebody. But once it finally gets in, you just feel all kinds of badass because you can just mow them down. It's too bad we only had four or five people we were playing with at the time because you know having a, an air support that you actually control and you know a myriad of red dots running around the map is just fun getting to just mow them down over and over again so you can see like I said I'm getting pretty good kill streaks here and um, you know there's a quick five in a row that I got just from a care package so yeah I ended up getting some you know nine and level up, uh, ranked up kill streak packages just off of re-rolling a care package so some people say, oh, that's cheap, or it's, you know, it's you didn't do it the hard way. Well, you know, I've gotten these care packages via the right way before, and it's fun, but, you know, if I can get a chopper gunner with three kills, and it takes you nine, then I don't really see the problem. So here I call in my rolling thunder, and I made a small little error, and forgot that it doesn't matter if you call it in just on their end of the map, it goes all the way across the map. So I ended up killing myself, but I did get a triple out of it, too, so going well right now I'm sitting at 25 kills and as you see that you know neck and neck race we did have going on with these guys has 
moved on and we are much much further ahead of them and getting closer to ending the round see that guy going back there and I know he's just kind of camped out waiting to see what happens so I'll just see if I can surprise him gotcha I do love a good tomahawk kill they are fun <laughs> you're gonna get to see a good fail here that damn sentry gun was placed by one of my friends but for some reason I saw it as being placed by an enemy so I had to make the run up there and kill him and you can see it just failed I got shot in the back so I ended up 27.6 based on care packages <laughs> anyway that's the video I'd appreciate it if you leave some comments and subscribe if you haven't and I'll talk to you later